To coronavirus now, and in Brazil, a study has found six in ten households now face food shortages due to the pandemic. Government handouts introduced last year have been reduced as public debt rises. Deaths continue to soar in the country, as Mark Lowen reports from Sao Paulo. Every day, the faces of despair multiply. The food lines in Sao Paulo's largest favela go on and on. With most here working in the grey economy, COVID has destroyed jobs. Queues have more than tripled in recent months as the pandemic takes lives and livelihoods of Brazil's poorest. For Luciana Firmino and her family, this is now their only meal of the day. She lost her job in a manicure studio with the pandemic and they're unable to pay the rent. I've lost hope. We will have to live on the street or under a bridge soon. Sometimes I think I should give my children away to social services. Well, with the pandemic, six out of ten Brazilian households now lack sufficient access to food. Government handouts last year helped, but they've been reduced as money runs scarce. No such concerns for the wealthiest food producers and backers of the president. It's corn harvest time on Frederico da Vila's 1,300 hectares. But with the president's anti-lockdown stance, slow vaccine purchase and more than 365,000 dead here, his critics call his handling genocidal. The President Bolsonaro is not focused in killing anyone. He wants to, to, to preserve the liberties of the people. He wants people to get, get out, to get work. With a public health disaster, economic woes and a divisive leader, Brazil is facing a perfect storm. It urgently needs a way out from the darkness of the pandemic. Mark Lowen, BBC News, Sao Paulo.